Have you ever wondered how to make a romantic wood stove at home? Today, we're diving into a craft project that's as practical as it is charming. We're going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a homemade wood stove. This isn't just any stove but a romantic one, perfect for cozy nights in. Not only will it add a touch of rustic charm to your home, but it'll also serve as a unique cooking solution. Stay with us to find out how to create your own romantic wood stove. First things first, we need to gather all the materials. So let's roll up our sleeves and dive right in. Our primary component is wood. Any type of wood will do, but hardwoods like oak or maple are your best bet because they're durable and can handle high heat. Next up, we'll need a circular saw to cut our wood pieces to size. Now let's add some metal to the mix. A small sheet of steel or iron will form the base of our stove. You'll also need a metal pipe for the chimney and a hinge and handle for the oven door. Don't forget about the tools. A hammer, some nails, a drill, and a metal cutter will be your best friends during this project. Lastly, we'll need some high temperature paint. This will not only make our stove look sleek and professional, but it'll also protect the wood from the heat. Now that we have everything we need, it's time to start building. The first step in construction is preparing the base of your stove. Now this might seem like a simple step, but don't be fooled. The base is the foundation of your stove and needs to be both solid and safe. It's the platform on which your romantic culinary dreams will be built. Begin by choosing a flat, stable surface. This could be a concrete patio, a brick platform, or even a patch of earth that's been leveled and compacted. The key here is stability. You don't want your stove tipping over in the middle of a romantic dinner, do you? Now let's talk materials. The base of your stove should be made from something non-combustible. Concrete blocks, bricks, or even a thick slab of stone would work well. These materials will provide a heat barrier between your stove and the surface below, protecting your patio, deck, or yard from potential damage. Next, arrange your chosen material into a square or rectangle, depending on the size of your stove. Make sure the blocks or bricks are tightly packed together, leaving no gaps for heat to escape. This will also add to the stability of your base. Once you've got your base laid out, it's time to add some insulation. A layer of sand or fire-resistant insulation can be spread over the blocks or bricks. This will provide an extra layer of heat protection and help to distribute the heat evenly across the base of your stove. Now, for a touch of finesse, you can finish the base with a layer of decorative stones or tiles. This is not only aesthetically pleasing, but also adds another layer of insulation. Make sure the top layer is level. This will ensure your stove sits evenly on the base. With this, your base is complete. Remember, a well-prepared base is not just about aesthetics, it's about safety and functionality, providing a solid foundation for your romantic wood stove. With the base ready, we can move on to the body of the stove. Now on to the main part of our stove, the body. Building the body of our stove is like sculpting a masterpiece. It's where the magic happens. It's not only about the function, but also the form. It's where the fire will dance and the food will cook. So let's roll up our sleeves and get to it. Start by taking your largest piece of metal sheeting. This will form the main body of the stove. You'll want to shape this into a cylindrical form, ensuring it's large enough to accommodate our fire and also our cooking pot. Once you've got the shape right, secure it with rivets. Remember, safety first. Next, we'll focus on the door. This is the gateway to our stove where we'll feed the fire and eventually retrieve our delicious meals. Cut a square or rectangular opening in the lower part of the body. This should be big enough to allow for easy loading of firewood, but not too large as to let too much heat escape. It's now time to attach the door. You can use a piece of metal sheeting cut to size, attaching it with hinges to the body. Don't forget to add a handle for easy opening and closing. Now let's turn our attention to the chimney. This will carry away the smoke and help control the heat. Decide where you want your chimney to be, usually at the top of the body, then cut a circular hole to fit the diameter of your chosen pipe. Attach the pipe securely to the body, ensuring there are no gaps for smoke to escape. You might want to add a cap to the top of the chimney to prevent rain from entering and to control the draft. With these steps, we've created the body of our romantic wood stove. It's a beautiful sight, isn't it? Just imagine the warm, inviting glow that will emanate from within, the crackling of the firewood, the aroma of the food cooking. With the body complete, our stove is starting to take shape. So stick around as we move on to the next important components, the oven door and the chimney installation. Scene script. Next, we'll install the oven door and the chimney. Let's get started with the oven door. Choosing a door with a window allows you to monitor the fire without having to open it, and it adds a touch of warmth and romance to your cooking experience. 
to install line the door up with the front opening of the stove. Now screw the hinges into the body of the stove using a drill. Make sure it's secure and swings open and shut smoothly. A properly fitted door is crucial for efficient heating. It traps the heat inside the stove, ensuring your food cooks evenly, and it keeps the flames safely contained. Now, let's move on to the chimney. This is where the smoke from your fire will escape, so it's an essential part of the stove. For a chimney, you can use a simple metal pipe. It should be long enough to extend well above the top of the stove for optimal smoke extraction. Start by drilling a hole at the top of the stove, where the chimney will be installed. The hole needs to be the same diameter as your pipe. Once the hole is drilled, insert the bottom end of the pipe into the hole. You may need to apply a bit of force to get it in, but be gentle to avoid damaging the stove. Once the pipe is in place, secure it with heat-resistant sealant. This will ensure no smoke leaks out around the edges. Apply the sealant around the joint where the pipe meets the stove, then let it dry fully before using the stove. Don't forget, safety is paramount. Make sure your chimney pipe is directed away from any flammable materials and well-ventilated areas. Installing the oven door and chimney may seem like a small step, but they play an enormous role in the functionality and safety of your romantic wood stove. Now that the door and chimney are in place, we are almost done. Finally, we add the finishing touches to our stove. This is where you get to infuse your personality into the project, making it truly a piece of you. Whether you're a fan of rustic charm or modern minimalism, let your imagination take the reins. Perhaps you're drawn to the classic allure of a natural wood finish. Applying a coat of clear varnish not only enhances the beauty of the wood grain, but also provides an extra layer of protection against the elements. For those who prefer a pop of color, consider painting your stove. A fiery red or a calming blue, perhaps? Always remember to use heat-resistant paint to ensure durability and safety. You can also add decorative elements to make your stove uniquely yours. Have some old horseshoes lying around, weld them on for a touch of country charm. Or maybe you're a fan of intricate patterns. Carve them onto the body of the stove for a personalized touch. For the final flourish, consider creating a charming little sign that says home is where the hearth is or simply your family name. You can hang this above your stove making it the heart of your home. Remember, this is your creation. Let it tell your story. Reflect your style, and fill your space with warmth and love. And there you have it, your very own romantic wood stove. Now, let's see this beauty in action. Lighting the stove is an art in itself. Start by crumpling up a few sheets of newspaper and place them in the center. You'll want to add some small kindling on top, making sure to leave enough space for air to flow. Now it's time to strike a match and light the paper. As the flames start to catch the wood, gradually add larger pieces until you have a nice steady fire going. Remember, safety first. Never leave the fire unattended and always have a fire extinguisher nearby. Now that the stove is roaring, let's prepare a simple meal. The beauty of a wood stove is that it offers a unique flavor to your dishes. Imagine a pot of soup simmering away, absorbing the smoky woodsy aroma. Or a pan of sizzling bacon filling your home with an irresistible scent. With this romantic wood stove, not only have you created a functional piece of art, but also a cozy atmosphere for your home.